In this video, we will dive deep into the 26 top lean manufacturing problem solving methods or tools and their benefits. So make sure to watch till the end. The lean manufacturing is a production process based on an ideology of maximizing productivity while simultaneously minimizing waste within a manufacturing operation. The lean principle sees waste is anything that doesn't add value that the customers are willing to pay for. The benefits of lean manufacturing include reduced lead times and operating costs and improved product quality. The lean tools are systematic and scientific approaches for problem solving. Lean tools are also used for identifying and eliminating waste from the system or process. These tools are very important to implement a lean manufacturing culture in the factory. The list of top lean tools for problem solving are Kaizen, Single Piece Flow, Jidoka, Poka Yoke, Visual Management, Kanban, Eight Lean Wastes, Six Big Losses, Smart Goals, Hijunka, Just in Time, Tact Time, Bottleneck Analysis, Anden, Jemba, Hoshin Canry, Overall Equipment Effectiveness, In Short OEE, Cellular Manufacturing, Total Productive Maintenance, in short TPM, total quality management, in short TQM, value stream study, in short VSEM study, single minute exchange of dyes, in short SMED, key performance indicators, in short KPIs, 5S methodology, standardized work, and PDCA cycle. Number one, Kaizen or continuous improvement. So what is Kaizen? Kaizen stands for continuous improvement or small incremental improvements of all areas of a company. Kaizen word comes from the Japanese words kai, which means change or improvement, and zen, which means for betterment. The lean tool Kaizen includes the involvement of all employees, from top management to bottom personnel. Benefits of Kaizen It improves processes by eliminating waste promotes personal growth of employees and the company. Kaizen improves quality, safety, cost structures, delivery, environments, and it improves customer service slash satisfaction. How to implement Kaizen at our workplace? The Kaizen method is generally implemented in five different steps. Identify an area having a problem. Analyze the data and method for the current process method. Testing and evaluating improvement possibilities. Implement improvements. Analyze results and present them to top management for feedback. Number two, single piece flow or one piece flow. So, what is single piece flow? Single piece flow is the sequence of a product or service through a process that is the single unit is produced at a time. Single piece flow is the opposite of batch production. In batch production, there is a large number of products are processed at once. Single piece flow is focused on the manufacturing of the product itself rather than the waiting, transportation, and storage of the product. Benefits of single piece flow. Single piece flow detects defects earlier and more accurately. In single piece flow, we can get more flexibility for customization and meeting customer demands. It reduces costs by eliminating various lean wastes. In single piece flow, we can easily predict the shipment timing. Number three. Jadoka or automation. So, what is Jadoka? Jadoka means automation. Automation is described as intelligent automation or automation with a human touch. Jadoka or automation refers to partially automate manufacturing. Partial automation is typically much less expensive than full automation. Jadoka implements some supervisory functions rather than production functions. In this concept, the machine or line is automatically stopped when defects are detected. Principles of Jadoka The main principles of Jadoka are mentioned below. Detect the abnormality in the operation or product. Stop the operation or product. Fix or correct the immediate condition of the process or product. Investigate the root cause and install a countermeasure in process or product. Benefits of Jadoka or automation. Jadoka helps employees fix problems as they occur. It improves productivity. Jadoka reduces downtime and breakdowns. It empowers employees and machines. Number four, Pokayoke. So, what is Pokayoke? Pokayoke means mistake proofing or error prevention. Pokayoke prevents defects from being made or it highlights a defect so that it is not passed to the next operation. 
Benefits of Pokayoke Pokayoke saves time and money by preventing defects or being made defective products. It is difficult to find all defects by inspection, so we can use pokayoke for effective and efficient operation. Pokayoke prevents human error and it is a very important tool. Number five, visual management. So, what is visual management? Visual management is a communication technique that uses visual aids to pass messages more effectively, more efficiently, and very fast. Visual management is the ability to manage everything in your factory or areas by visually. Benefits of visual management. Visual management can display problems in a simpler way and very effective. Clearly indicates our targets and goals. Visual management can increase the effectiveness of communication. Work instructions can be simplified by using the visual management concept. Number six, Kanban. So, what is Kanban? Kanban means signboard or billboard. Kanban is a scheduling system for lean manufacturing and just-in-time manufacturing, JIT. It takes its name from the cards that track production within a factory. Kanban controls the inventory level at any stage of production. Benefits of Kanban Kanban improves manufacturing efficiency. One of the main benefits of Kanban is to establish an upper limit to work in process inventory to avoid overcapacity. Kanban is an effective tool to support the running production system. Kanban reduces wastes. Number seven, eight lean wastes. The eight wastes in lean manufacturing are transportation waste. Transportation is related to all unnecessary transportation activities within the organization. Inventory waste. Inventory waste is related to all finished goods and in-process goods, which are kept by us on because of the forecast and it is non-moving. Motion waste. Moving waste is related to people and equipment inefficiently moving between tasks. Waiting waste. Waiting is how much time is consuming between your production steps in ideal condition. Overproduction waste. Overproduction is that we are producing more products than customers demand. Overprocessing waste. We are doing more operations to finish good products for that customer is not willing to pay. Defects waste. The generation of defects in production is a total waste for that we have to spend on rework or repair or scrap. Skills sets, non-utilized talent, waste. If we are not using our manpower efficiently, then that is a waste. Benefits of eliminating eight lean wastes. It increases productivity. It creates a safer working environment. Reduce downtime. Improve efficiency and effectiveness. Number eight, six big losses. The six big losses are breakdowns or unplanned stops. It refers to mechanical failure and the need for maintenance or stoppage due to an unplanned activity like manpower are not available. Planned stops or setup and adjustment. Machines are stopped due to planned events, such as planned maintenance, safety inspections, or employee breaks, and setup and adjustment refers to changeover and machine warm-up. Small stops or idling. Small stops or idling refers to machine stops for a short duration of time to correct settings, unclog jams, and routine cleaning activity. Speed or slow cycles. Speed or slow cycles are referred to machine runs slower than designed, low efficiency of operator and machine wear down. Production rejects or defects. Production rejects or defects are defective parts produced in the regular production. This is due to operator error or incorrect settings. Startup rejects or startup losses. Startup rejects or startup losses are defective parts produced at the time of machine startups or during the operation or product changeovers. Benefits of analysis of six big losses. Six Big Losses provides us with a framework for eliminating the most common causes of waste in manufacturing. Number nine, SMART goals. So, what are SMART goals? The SMART goal is the method to set the goal or target in an effective manner. The goal should be clearly defined and communicated. The acronym SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable or Achievable, Realistic or Results-Focused, and Time-Bound. Number 10, Hijunka. So, what is hijunka? Hijunka means leveling or balancing. It is used to minimize batching and create a more efficient manufacturing process. It is a type of production scheduling and it supports a predictable and steady flow of small batch manufacturing instead of larger production processes used for goods and components. Example of hijunka. 
Say a car manufacturer receives 1,000 orders for cars every week. 200 on Monday, 100 on Tuesday, 100 on Wednesday, and 600 on Thursday. Instead of manufacturing 1,000 cars at the beginning of the week or the exact amount needed each day, the company would produce exactly 200 cars per day. By producing the same amount every day, the factory can optimize the manufacturing operation for 200 cars and therefore create a more efficient process. Benefits of Hijunka Hijunka, leveling or balancing, improves efficiency at all levels of the manufacturing operation. It improves productivity and reduces the defects. Hijunka reduces inventories, working capital costs, manpower, and production lead time. Number 11. Just in time. So, what is just in time? It is focused on the production of customers' requirement like when they want it, how many quantities they want it, and where they want it. In this methodology, we produce the only customer's ordered quantity instead of creating a large stock of a product. Benefits. It reduces unnecessary inventory. Minimize the storage need, and it gives companies flexibility in their manufacturing operations. Save unnecessary expenses. Number 12. Tack time. So, what is tack time? It is the maximum amount of time requires to produce the product and satisfy the customer's demand. It is in other words, net time available to work per unit of customer's demand. Tack time equals net time available to work, divided by customer demand. In the equation, T equals tack time. TA equals net time available to work, for example, working 8 hours per day. D equals demand, or customer demand, for example, units required is 1,000 quantity per day. Example, if there are a total of 8 hours, or 480 minutes, in a shift, gross time, less 30 minutes lunch, 20 minutes of tea breaks, 10 minutes for a meeting with team, then the net available time to work equals 480. Minus 30, minus 20, minus 10 is equal to 420 minutes. If customer demand were 840 units per day and one shift was being run, then the line would be required to output at a minimum rate of two parts per minute in order to satisfy the customer's demand. Benefits. It keeps track of production rates. It helps us to set real-time targets for production and reduces unnecessary wastes. We can achieve a consistent flow of production by using tack time. We can eliminate the waste of overproduction by producing to meet actual customer demand. Number 13. Bottleneck Analysis So, what is bottleneck? A bottleneck means constraint. The bottleneck in operation is understood by the stage of operation that takes the longest time in the whole operation. The bottleneck refers to the slowest member of the whole operation, or it can determine the speed of the entire group. If one part of the whole operation is slow, then it can reduce the speed of the whole operation. Also, it reduces the efficiency of the entire manufacturing process. Benefits of Bottleneck Analysis By removing bottleneck, we can increase efficiency and profits. We can optimize the cycle time. Increase productivity and plant capacity. Number 14. Andon. So, what is Andon? Andon is a visual signaling system for the shop floor that indicates production status and alerts when assistance is needed. Andon empowers operators to stop the production process if any abnormity found in product or process. Usually, Andon uses a combination of lights and sounds to communicate any problem, production status updates, highlight the issues, and any achievements. Benefits of Andon. Andon brings an immediate response to problems as they occur. It empowers operators. Andon keeps the shop floor person engaged with their tasks. Number 15. Jemba. So, what is Jemba? Jemba is a Japanese word. Jemba means the real place. It means the actual place where the problem was found or an incident has happened. As per Jemba theory, we must have to go at the Jemba for investigation of any problem or incident. So problem solvers or cross-function team's presence is necessary at Jemba. The actual place may be referred. In manufacturing, it is a shop floor or it can be a construction site, assembly line, any lab, office, etc. Basic principles of Jemba Walk are mentioned below. Have a specific purpose of Jemba Walk. Be familiar with the area that you are visiting. 
Understand the overall process. Correctly understand what you are seeing. Know what to ask. Benefits of Jemba. By Jemba Walk, we can get easily knowledge of the plant's productivity. Jemba gives a deep, thorough, and effective understanding of the manufacturing process and problems by observation and discussions with shop floor employees. Number 16. Hashin Kanri. So, what is Hashin Kanri? Hashin Kanri is a Japanese word it means policy deployment. The word Hashin means direction. And the word Kanri means administration. In Hashin Kanri, the strategic goals of the company are communicated throughout the company and then put into action with the help of middle management. The top-down approach focus on steady communication for explaining visions, developing and implementing policy from top to bottom management, and receiving feedback from bottom to top management. Benefits of Hashin Kanri The Hashin Kanri practice helps us to ensure that all employees within an organization are able to understand the organization's vision, and all employees work toward a common goal of an organization. It eliminates the waste that comes from poor communication and an unorganized direction. Number 17. Overall Equipment Effectiveness, OE So, what is Overall Equipment Effectiveness, OE? OE is a method used to measure manufacturing efficiency by using performance rate, availability of machine, and quality rate. It measures the efficiency of productivity in percent. With 0% means zero productivity, it means an inefficient production. 100% OE means perfect production, produced only good parts, as fast as possible, with no downtime. OE is calculated with a formula. Overall equipment effectiveness, OE, equals product of availability, performance, and quality. Benefits of OE. Knowing OE helps us to find inefficiencies in the production cycle. It helps us to set goals for improvement and track the progress. OEE provides benchmark data for the new process setup. OEE helps to track progress in eliminating waste from a manufacturing process. Number 18. Cellular Manufacturing So, what is cellular manufacturing? Cellular manufacturing is creating process flow by dividing the full process into small sub-processes or steps. This small sub-processes or steps are called cells. By combining these cells are called cellular manufacturing. In cellular manufacturing, the similar products are produced in the same cell. The product moves through the whole process without any stoppage or any interruptions. Commonly, the cells are arranged in a U-shaped design. This design allows a supervisor to move less and have more watch over the entire process. Benefits of Cellular Manufacturing Cellular manufacturing improves productivity and output. Cellular manufacturing reduces rejection and optimizes the floor space quick changeover possible. We can make a wide range of similar products in a single line. Reduce lead time. Enhance teamwork and communication between employees. Number 19. Total Productive Maintenance, TPM. So, what is total productive maintenance? TPM is a well-defined system of maintaining and improving the production system and quality systems between the processes, machines, employees, equipment, and processes. TPM adds business value to an organization. Total Productive Maintenance, TPM, focuses on proactive and preventative maintenance to maximize the operational time of equipment and reduce equipment failure rate as much as possible in order to increase production efficiency. TPM completely removes the difference between production and maintenance by strong focuses on empowering operators to maintain their own equipment. The eight pillars of TPM are Autonomous Maintenance, Focused Improvement, Planned Maintenance, Quality Management, Early Equipment Management, Education and Training, Administrative and Office TPM, Safety Health Environment. Benefits of Total Productive Maintenance, TPM. TPM reduces downtime and increases productivity. It improves quality. It creates a safer working environment. TPM enhances teamwork and communication between employees and empower the operators. Number 20. Total Quality Management, TQM. So, what is total quality management? Total quality management is a customer-oriented process, and it focuses on continuous improvement of product, process, or service of an organization. The goal of total quality management, TQM, is to increase the quality at every single step in an organization. The principles of total quality management are 
Focus on customer, employee involvement, process-centered, integrated system, a strategic and systematic approach, decision-making based on facts, communication, continuous improvement. Benefits of Total Quality Management Total Quality Management, TQM, will increase the awareness of quality within the organization. TQM establishes a quality-oriented culture within the organization. TQM emphasis on teamwork. It will increase commitment towards continuous improvement within the organization. Number 21, value stream mapping. So, what is value stream mapping? Value stream mapping is a method of analyzing the current state of a process and designs the future state of the process, and it focuses on the opportunity for improvement by eliminating different wastes from processes. Value stream mapping includes the process from the supplier end to reach at the customer end. The process flow diagram is used to identify the waste and inefficiencies from the process in value stream mapping. Main three parts of value stream mapping are map current state, identify waste, design future state, create a transformation plan. Some common data collection points for value stream mapping are the time is taken by one product or to pass one product from one station to the next station. Level of inventory, number of operators, a number of shifts worked, batch size, change over and delivery time, productivity, etc. Benefits of value stream mapping. Value stream mapping addresses underlying issues. It helps to identify wastes and eliminate wastes. Value stream mapping helps to identify inefficiencies in the process. Number 22, single minute exchange of dies, SMED. So, what is the single minute exchange of dies, SMED? Single minute exchange of die, SMED, is a method for reducing setup or change over time in a manufacturing process to less than 10 minutes. The efficiency of the operation or process can improve by reducing the setup or change over time in the factory. The concept of SMED was given by Frederick Taylor in 1911, and it was used by Ford Motors in 1915. Principles of the single minute exchange of dies, SMED, Identify changeover tasks. Analyze each task to determine the purpose. Determine low-cost solutions. Implement that solution to reduce the changeover time. Benefits of single-minute exchange of dies, SMED. SMED improves efficiency. SMED improves productivity. It gives more flexibility to production. With the help of SMED, we can reduce inventory and enable a higher rate of production. Number 23, Key Performance Indicators, KPIs. So, what are KPIs? KPIs are essential metrics set by the management in order to check the success of lean manufacturing goals or performance of any process. Key Performance Indicators, KPI, are important for measuring efficiency, waste, and productivity. Examples of common manufacturing KPIs are Speed, count, cost of poor quality, reject ratio, customer satisfaction index or rating, MTBF, MTTR, etc. Benefits of KPIs. It helps to improve efficiency and productivity. It helps management to define the roles and responsibility of employees. Create a vision, mission, and goals of an organization. It helps to set objectives and targets. Number 24. 5S Methodology. So, what is 5S methodology? 5S methodology is a system for organizing spaces so work can be performed effectively and efficiently with safely. 5S meaning. S1 stands for Siri, meaning to sort. S2 stands for Seton, meaning to set in order. S3 stands for Saizo, meaning to shine or clean. S4 stands for Saiketsu, meaning to standardize. S5 stands for Shitsuk, meaning to sustain. Benefits of 5S methodology. Increase productivity through effectiveness, reduction in delays, improved quality, improve in safety, setup times reduced, morale and motivation increase, less stress for operators, safer work environment. Number 25, standardized work. So, what is the standardized work? The standardized work is documented procedures for any process. It must be a live document so that it can be easily changed as per the modification of the process. Benefits of standardized work. Better documentation of current operation flow. 
Standardized work helps to train the operator. Improvement in productivity and profits. Reduces variation in the operation flow. It adds discipline towards a work. Standardized work promotes problem solving. Standardized work increases teamwork across the organization. Number 26, PDCA cycle. So, what is the PDCA cycle? The PDCA cycle is the Plan Do Check Act cycle. PDCA is a well defined problem solving method and continuous improvement. The steps in the PDCA cycle are plan. Problem is identified and all employees work together to develop a plan for making improvements or solving the identified problem. Do. The plan is implemented as per the defined solution by a cross-functional team. Check. Check the implemented solution and also discuss further improvements that can be possible or not. Act. The implemented solution is documented if it has successfully solved the initial problem. And if the solution is not satisfactory, then again the cycle starts over at the plan phase for finding out other factors. Benefits of the PDCA cycle, Plan Do Check Act cycle. It helps to implement Kaizen and other continuous improvement activities. PDCA method improves the brainstorming skills of your team. Lean manufacturing is a methodology that can help streamline and improve manufacturing processes or other services in order to provide enhanced benefits for customers while saving time and money through the elimination of waste. As a methodology, lean is best applied across the entirety of an organization with continual monitoring and improvements being applied with the support of employees at all levels. Training within industry can help with a number of product and process development support activities, including technical support, manufacturing and production support, technology acquisition, asset management, and failure analysis and repair. So, we have discussed the 26 top lean manufacturing problem-solving methods or tools and their benefits. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.